Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing the much awaited mystical motherhood challenge. I took a little break from this one because I wanted to wait until the paranormal pack was out. It's been out for a while, but I haven't filmed because I started school again. I know it sucks and it's already eating up all of my time. Um, but yeah, school started and I've been streaming a lot on Twitch just because it's a way for me to get content out and it's a way for me to like hang out with you guys without having to worry about editing a video. It takes so much more time to do a video than it does to do a stream. So if you still want more content from me or if you're like itching for more content from me or whatever, um, check out Twitch. It's seriously so much fun. I know I keep talking about Twitch all the time, but you guys, I love it. I love interacting with you guys and just like hanging out, building or playing challenges, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, if you haven't come to check out my channel yet, it's linked in the description. <laughs> but yeah, so today we are going to be doing a little bit of a paranormal pack exploration in case you guys haven't seen any of it yet. I did play a little bit of it on Twitch already and it's so much fun. So we're going to be doing that today and we're going to try to have babies with bone Hilda as well. That's why I wanted to wait for the paranormal pack to come out and that's why I didn't end up having babies with the skeleton from Jungle Adventure just because this skeleton is way more cool. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that today. I do have a Celsius, you guys. I've got strawberry guava, the new flavor. If you guys have not tried this yet and you are a fan of Celsius, I, I guarantee that you'll like it. Actually, I don't guarantee it. Don't take my word for it. Just, just try it. <laughs> so let's crack this open. <laughs> and let's get into it. Cheers to you, cheers to this video. Okay, friends, here we are back in the mystical motherhood lot. I'm so, so, so excited. So the first thing that I would like to do in this episode is uh, I want to turn Maribel's little death den into a medium room. I want to check out the build and buy stuff from the pack. I didn't really get to that much when I did the stream. So I, holy cannoli, why is this so large? Okay, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna build like a very basic, oops, a very basic medium room that the, the ghost babies can use because I do want them to increase their medium skill for the challenge. We also need to move out the island elemental babies. And a lot of you guys in the comments said that it really bugged you that, um, that Jenny, the other ghost babe, doesn't have a ghostly name. So I will, I will definitely fix that for you. I, I completely understand why that would be annoying. So I'm gonna have to try and think up a good, <clears throat> a good ghost name for her. So let's go ahead and filter everything by pack. If you guys haven't played this pack yet or have seen anyone play it, it is just, it's fantastic. It, it feels like a game pack. Um, and it's only a stuff pack, like just everything that's in it. Like there's just so much. So I highly recommend. Yeah, this is the floor and the wallpaper that came with the pack. So good. But the thing that I'm most interested in is the, oh, it comes with a light. Oh, what a cute little light. Sorry if you guys aren't into build and buy things, but um, I know that a lot of you are. So we're gonna do this on camera cause it's fun. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good. So what I'm looking for is the medium table. Is it in surfaces perhaps? Ah, yes, this bad boy right here. Is it table of rage? Is this the one? That has plus medium skill. Uh, there's a new skill that comes with the pack, you guys, and it is the medium skill. And what that is means that you can like talk with ghosts, uh, communicate with ghosts, all that good stuff. Look at this coffee table. Isn't this just like the cutest? <gasps> this swatch though. Oh my gosh. 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 I want to use this in like every single house. <laughs> but yeah, so. Let's see, I know that the pack came with some chairs as well. These like, um, I don't even know what you'll call these, but I love these kind of chairs. Yeah, let's definitely get this color. So the Sims will sit at this table. Oh, you know what I do need? The ball. I think that's what makes it a medium table. Yeah, this bad boy right here. Lady Raven Dancer's Crystal Ball. Yes! Uh, so cool. Ooh, I really like the orange. Okay, yeah. It's looking nice. It's looking real nice. Is there a rug? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, occult markings. I see. I see. That's cool. That's cool. Nice plant. 
like the decor pieces that came with this are just so good like this panda thing how cool is that this photo thing oh the seance table set here it is okay i wonder i wonder do i have to buy this or can i just use this hmm that is something that i do not know the little baby cow plant decor i love it and then this pack also came with like hanging plants <gasps> oh i just love the whole vibe you guys i don't know i just love it i'm really hoping that they can work their medium skill with the table that i built but if they can't then we'll have to buy this one. Oh, seance table okay 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 so this table here is like a just a regular table all right then there's a swatch that it comes in at least the crystal ball is still orange so i'm chilling i'm chilling hope you guys are doing good though i miss you i miss filming videos i just <sighs> everything is just 10 times more stressful on zoom i'm sure you guys know this but i just have to freaking blab about it in every one of my videos because I don't know. It's like, I, you guys are my friends and um, I just feel better when I can vent. So I hope you don't mind that I, I vent. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. this is so pretty. I love the colors. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this light though because it's looking a little too bright. I just want like all the moody vibes. So yeah, let me get some candles going. Definitely need candles. There are the coolest candles that you get from ghosts in this pack they have like black flames oh my gosh just chef's kiss i love this pack just it's just good it's just very good yeah and then this one in the corner can have more candles of course i don't think we need anything oh maybe just some some little cute like armchairs in the corner definitely not blue though Oh, that matches. Okay, yeah, it's looking nice. It's looking really nice. Let's put some photos up, because why not? Of Gidri. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but he's like the ghost that takes care of you. All right, here is our little seance slash medium room. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. We'll put that gravestone right there. Very nice. <laughs> okay, next order of business that I wanted to do was just catch you guys up on everything. So it's Winterfest right now, but I don't think we're going to be celebrating because it's almost over. But we've got Brenna looking beautiful as ever. We still have Dr. Evil in the household. You know what? I totally forgot to show you guys the ghost baby bedroom. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Okay, let's go ahead and do that really quick because that... It's been so long and I built the bedroom a while ago, so I totally forgot. I put it in the vampire baby bedroom, or no, this was plant baby before. So it's in this door. So we head inside and we have uh, just a very, I just went for like a black and white theme, just very monochro monochromatic. I wanted it to look grayscale, just like the ghost babies look. So we've got these beds. They're like massive. They're, they're single beds, but they're wider. They're CC. Um, I just really like them. The, I put some ghosties in the water. I put this giant gnome Dr. Evil's having a gander at. <laughs> we just have a bunch of just black and white decor. Um, yeah, it's actually quite plain compared to all the other bedrooms, but it was hard finding just things that were black, black and white or gray. <laughs> so yeah, Dr. Evil. And then we've got the two island babies. We've got Samoa and Lonnie. And if you guys aren't familiar with the new emotion, it is scared. It came with the new update, which I think is really cool. I really like the color they chose for it. And then we've got the two babies from the well. We've got Leah and we've got Winston, who is very scared from the thunderstorm as well. Poor baby. Poor, 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 poor baby. <laughs> And then we've got the ghost babes, Jenny, who's vibing. Is she scared? Actually, yeah, she is scared of thunderstorms. And then we've got Casper over here, who is Dr. Evil and Brenna's son. Um, he did not come out as a ghost, so we just made him look like a ghost in Cass. You got to work with what you got, you know? <laughs> but some of you guys wanted me to age him up to, to be the same age as Jenny, which I completely understand. Not really sure what I want to do about this yet. 
I, this episode was supposed to be the last episode, but there's just, there's just more things that need to be done. So I'm just going to keep doing them until I feel it's right to end it. Uh, let me just see if these bean skills are, are, are up to par. So for fishing, yeah, we were doing fishing for him, which is clearly level five. And then Lonnie, we were doing guitar. She's also level five. So we're able to move them out now with, um, with Derumpk. So I'm thinking, oh, poor baby. He's running around because he's so scared. Um, so I want the, I'm just so very all over the place. I want the babies to do the medium skill. So I was thinking of changing the lot type to haunted because that kind of like triggers the paranormal pack like mission, if that makes any sense. It's the lot type. So you change the lot type from residential to haunted house residential. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. So in order to do the medium skill, the ghost babies need to be teens. So I'm gonna have to age them up. I'm gonna, hmm, I think I'm going to take Dr. Evil out of our household for now and add Derumpk back in because I need I need to move him out with the island elemental babies and that's like the easiest way to do it is to have him in the family and then just move them out all at once. So let's see, where is he? Where's our boy at? Oh, I think I need to do one of those like uh, island thingies. So let's try that. <laughs> Winterfest, I can't do it. So I'm gonna cancel Winterfest. Summon the island elementals and hope that he comes Add him to the family, move him out with Lonnie and Samoa. Oh, right, we need to take photos as well. There he is! Okay, okay. Add to family. Okay, Mr. Sir, well, shoot, it's complete. It's just raining cats and dogs. Where am I supposed to take the photos? I guess we'll have to do it indoors this time. Yeah, we can just do it in the wellness studio. <laughs> I don't really have any other option. If you guys have played the paranormal pack, let me know in the comments how you feel about it. What's your what's been your favorite part? Cuz I'm I'm very curious. Okay, so for the island elemental babes, should we just do like a bunch of cute palm trees in the background? I don't know if they'll show up. Is there a shorter palm tree? Oh, we can do these ones. These are from the island or from the island living pack. Okay, that's really pretty. And then hopefully there's like a really cute background. Oh shoot. I wonder if this is too tight of a squeeze. It might be. All right, there we go. Ooh, there's an outdoor backdrop. That is perfect. Okay, fantastic. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see it, my, my beauties. Let's see it. Give me a nice photo. He's so see-through, it looks very silly, but uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It is what it is. Ooh, I love the warm. Ooh, should we do like a super oversaturated one for them? Yeah, let's do that. All right, looking good, cuties. Looking very good. All right, next up. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's in his outfit. He's ready for a photo shoot. Ready for a photo shoot. Aww, very nice. You can see his happy trail and everything. Love to see it. I realize these are very, very bright and oversaturated, but you know what? It's fine. All right, fantastic, you guys. You did it. It is now time to move them out. Um. Oh yes, yes, it is happening, it is happening. We have a haunted house, so now all this like creepy stuff is gonna start popping up everywhere. And apparently you have to remove it as soon as you see it. So we'll just do that. There are just ghosts everywhere. I kind of love it. Oh look, and he can fish. Oh wow. Okay, let's get him to just Let's fish just a little bit with him since we didn't get to at all before. We just had to read books. But now I want to get a little screen screeny of him um, catching fish because this is him. We'll see if he catches something good because he is level five already. Oh, what a good bean cleaning up. Aww. Yeah, a trout. You go, my dude. What's this? 
holly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Afu, what a gorgeous painting you have done. Very gorgeous. Hi, alien sir. Oh my gosh, there's a there's a urn over there. <laughs> Must have been from Arabella. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, move out the beans, the island beans, and move on to the next task. Okay, dokay, okay, dokay. Here we are. Here we go. Of course, I'm gonna move them into Solani. I mean, <laughs> that's a big obvious, isn't it? Let's move them into this house. Evict those people. All right. Have fun with your ghost father, fishing and playing guitar. You guys, I have not been on it with my songs. I don't know where my melodies went. I'm just not feeling inspired lately, apparently. Okie dokie, next order of biznaz. Uh, I guess we should age up the beans, age up the well babies and age up the ghost babies. I am not doing anything with the well babies. I'm kind of just letting them vibe and live their life how they want to be lived or how they want it to be lived. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and head into Cass. And I'm fingers freaking crossed that I have black and white clothes for teens for Casper. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the well babies first because why not? So we have Leia who's evil and she wants to be an artistic prodigy. So let's go ahead and age her up into a teen. Shabam. And let's see what we got. She has fangs, but holy cannoli, she's absolutely gorgeous. Her second trait, shoot, no. Her second trait is goofball. I'm gonna give her back her evil trait. And her aspiration, um, an evil goofball? Let's give her the joke star aspiration then. She's like super just, chef's kiss you know like i have a feeling everything is gonna look good on her oh she didn't age up with fangs what the seeing things i'm seeing things before i started filming today i downloaded a couple of new hairs uh this was one of them okay yeah looks good i think we should go with that oh my gosh she's so buff i love to see it a lot of my sims have been buff lately <laughs> I love it. Like, I wish I was that buff. Holy cannoli. I'd be so strong. Yeah, we're just gonna dress them like normal. I'm not used to dressing Sims normal in this Let's Play, but it's kind of refreshing, I have to say. I don't know. Since they came out the well, like... I don't know how to... I don't know, you guys. What What does coming out of a well mean for your style? Like, like peasant-like? Like, farm? I don't know. We've had a lot of farmy style babies in this LP. This this top does look good on her. Should I dress her like a milkmaid or... Ooh, look at this swatch. She's killing it. I think we should go with that. Oh my gosh, should I give her the jean skirt? I don't normally like the jean skirt, but I think it kind of fits the vibe. Or is it just me? I think if we do do the jean skirt, we'd have to do a different shirt though. Ooh, look at this lace top. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm, that's really cute. It gives me wishing well vibes, Disney vibes. Y'all know what I mean. I hope. <laughs> um, shoes. Shoesy, 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 shoes, shoes, shoes. Oh, these are cute. <gasps> yeah, those are it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I love this. It's really cute. Okay, I think it's really funny too that she's evil being dressed like this, like you would have never guessed just by looking at her, right? Okay, let's move on to Winston, who's our little genius baby. He has the WizKid aspiration. Just all around super adorable. So let's see what he looks like as a teen, you guys. Let's go. Okay. I was in the middle of drinking when he aged up. <laughs> He's very cute, you guys. I don't know, I just have like a really special place in my heart for this kid for some reason. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Oh, this the cicada, cicada, I don't know, but this skin detail looks really, really good. Okay, and this hair, I have no idea where this hair is from, you guys. I have no, no idea which pack. But he had Maxis match hair when he was a babes, so perhaps we can keep that going. If I'm being honest with you guys, I much prefer 
I much prefer curly and like more natural hair in Maxis Match than I do in Alpha. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just think it looks better when it's Maxis Match. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm sticking to it. <laughs> ah, here we go. Okay, that's a base game hair. Nice. <gasps> wow, okay, he actually looks super handsome with this one. Oh yeah, he had a hair like this when he was younger. We can give him the waves from Paranormal. But I kind of like that other one, the first one that I put on. This one, I think this looks really good. Oh shoot, we forgot to give him his last tray. Okay, so genius and seldom sleepy. All right, actually, shoot, do we want some? Let's let's keep the maker tray. I love that. So let's give him his genius trait back, and then his aspiration will be. Um, let's do ego innovator for him. Maybe he can be like a really smart person who tries to think up ways to better the environment and the world and all that. <laughs> okay, sir, let's find you something to wear now. So I don't know. Do I want to dress him like a Disney prince? Probably not. What about this one? We can give him this swatch so it's like a, a teensy bit more casual, you know? So the way that my mind has gone about this issue is like wishing well equals like um, like royalty type Disney prince and princess type. Yeah, I already said that, but I hope that you guys understand where I'm coming from with this. <laughs> oh yeah, and I just remembered that our Mr. Sir needs glasses because he had glasses as a little babes. Um, he had these. The tortoise ones. All right, you guys, Winston is all done. I hope that you like him. So let's go ahead and move on to Jenny, who I'm gonna change her name. Um, I think I'm gonna do Lydia because uh, in Beetlejuice, Lydia is the name of a little girl who can like communicate with the ghosts. So yeah, and I love Beetlejuice. <laughs> okay, why are you, why are you not a ghost? What is going on right now? That's weird. Okay, well, let's go ahead and age her up and see what we got going on. That makes me really sad. Why are you, why are you not? She's a ghost here, but she's not a ghost here. Hmm, very strange. Okay, so she is proper and independent. Okay, let me get rid of this and give her a proper trait back. Okay, and her aspiration's gonna be... Uh, there's no new aspiration that came with the pack, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna give her the... Um, shoot, I'll just give her the family one. Big happy family. Okay, I'm gonna give her the same hair that she had back. I don't think colors matter at all because she's freaking see-through. <laughs> um, geez, I hope I didn't like completely ruin it by going into cast with her. Dang it! Why does she not look like a ghost in here? Now I can't see what outfits look like as a ghost. I'm so annoyed. Ooh, let's give her this. I think that would look pretty sick. Like, all ghost-like. Okay. All right, there she is. There is Lydia. Um, Very cute. Love this outfit so much. I just really want to see it when it's see-through. I'm scared that it's Broken, but okay, moving on to Mr. Cap Caspa here. I freaking love him. He's so cool. Hopefully I have some cool stuff for teens. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Let's have a look at his child form first. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So keep in mind, this is Dr. Evil and Brenna's kid. And Jenny is from the well, so she doesn't have any uh, genes from anyone in the family, but. All right. All right. All right, all right. Yes. Yes. I see a lot of Dr. Evil in him. I don't know about you guys, but I see it. <laughs> now I have to go through all my eyes and find, <laughs> find the ones. Crap. Ah, here we go. Found him. Wait, no. This one is super, super just like, uh, that old school vibe that I'm going for. So let's do that. And then I downloaded this, um, full body outfit. That's really, um, old school as well. It's very Disney Prince, but I didn't want to use it on the other on um, Winston because I want to use it on him. It's this, and it does come in black and white, but it doesn't come in like a gray scale, which really bums me out. <sighs> I think this will have to do though. 
He looks less like a ghost in his adult form. I'm thinking he does look a bit more ghostly like this, so we're probably gonna go with that. I have been trying all different kinds of just combinations and nothing is quite hitting the spot. I mean, I don't know you guys, this is really tough. I'm really sad I don't have anything good. So I'm just gonna leave him in, oh my gosh, this shirt. I'm just gonna leave him in this. And um, if you guys like the, the full body, um, like prints, outfit better than I oh I'll put him in this actually if you guys like this full body prince outfit better then I can change it in the next episode but for now I think our guy is good so his traits are mean and squeamish oh my gosh okay wow uh his aspiration hmm let's do the mischief one okay so that is everybody. I'm going to go ahead and get back into some gameplay now and uh, work on their medium skill. All right, here we are back in the house. Let's uh, let's get these two to get in here and work on. Oh yes, 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 yes. Look, L Lydia's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's actually uh, killing that dress in ghost form. So I'm I'm happy. Okay, let's um perform ceremony. The only way to get your medium skill up is to do this little table thing. So, <laughs> I mean, she looks pretty rad doing it. I'm not going to lie. It suits her. It does. And I know it doesn't really make sense to have a ghost be a medium. Like, they should already know how to communicate with ghosts. But for the sake of the challenge, y'all, this is what we do in. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you can perform a ceremony which makes the house a little less haunted, it drains their energy, and it also makes them less scared. Since spiritual vit volata volatility is sense how haunted the house is, commune with the departed, speak with the dearly departed, maybe they'll offer some wisdom. So yeah, that's that. And eventually they will be able to like perform ceremonies together and all that. Um, but basically the... Um, the animation of every single thing is the same. That's the only thing that bums me out. Ooh, Lonnie made a sado but left it in here. We should probably bring that in the house. Delicious asado. What's with all these cakes? Why are they all poor quality? Oh, it's Nina. Nina freaking rocked up in her ghost form, cooked three poor quality cakes. Ooh, yes, the flickering lights. Love to see it. The other side is okay, but I wish I'd brought a book. Having an eternity with just your thoughts isn't as pe peaceful as it seems. Yeah, I bet. Oh, look, we can do a group seance. Commune with the dead with Casper. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. So when you get to a certain level of your medium skill, that's when you get to summon Bonehilda. So yeah, we need to summon her, uh, build a relationship with her, and uh, have babies, have skeleton babies. It's so funny you guys figured out that... um. If you have a, if you woohoo with Bonehilda in the shower, she turns into a normal sim and she's redhead. Oh my gosh, Lydia's already level three. Holy cannoli, I wonder if being a ghost has an advantage. Look at her, she's already floating in everything. Oh, what a queen. Casper's still firmly grounded, no problem. Yeah, he, he doesn't quite know what he's doing yet, but that's okay. When you max your medium skill, you, uh, ghostly laughter from hilarious death. Oh my gosh. Ooh! Excuse me. Dude, why is Filippo in every one of my Let's Plays? He just finds his way. He finds his way. Let's hit him with the ghost scare. We're a ghost. He's a ghost. Let's just do ghost things. <laughs> she found herself a ghost man. I love to see it. Okay, Casper, let's go ahead and get you to perform a ceremony so we can work on your skill too. Let's just get that up. This uh, this uh, crystal ball thing is really cool because there's a face in it. Oh, they're joining me. Okay, fine. There's, there's the face. There's the face. Scooby dooby doo. If you guys want to see me like play this entire thing, max the medium skill, get the the freelancing job as a as a ghost hunter, all that good stuff. 
Uh, it's saved on my Twitch. So if you want to watch it, it'll be there. <gasps> the ceremony was interrupted. The spiritual serenity is lowered. Oh, no. All right, Casper, go get some rest. Performing those ceremonies just, like, drains the heck out of them. So I can understand. Yay, little ghost baby in her ghost bedroom dreaming about peeing her pants. What are you up to, love? Oh, I didn't give you that outfit, but it's kind of cute. And you're setting the table? What a good bean! Let's just clean up these nasty cakes, because... Dude, our house is literally haunted by a ghost who makes foul cakes. What a nightmare, am I right? Oh yeah, and one of you guys commented about like putting all the rooms together on, an, on a lot and making a museum. Um, don't worry, I won't forget. I'll probably... What? Our neighbor brought us a gift? Oh, and look! These are the little ghosties that uh, pop up when you have a haunted lot. Isn't it so cute? Little ghost poops. Ugh! This is a happy one, but um, when they get angry, they start like raging. And they get, they get a little scary, but they're still super cute. <laughs> Let's invite her in. Um, what was I saying though? Oh yeah, I'll do the museum tour the same episode that we do the wedding. So yeah, don't worry, I won't forget. I will not forget. Time to get up, time to use the bathroom. I really don't think that ghosts should have to use the bathroom or eat. It's not very realistic, is it? I forget what level you have to be to get Bonehilda. It's probably the next one. Is that level four? Yeah, level four. Oh my gosh, wait, we can! We can summon Bone Hilda! Okay, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. <gasps> for, so for those of you that don't know that haven't been keeping up, uh, you get Bone Hilda from this table once you reach a certain skill. And she just pops up. She sticks around for a while. I wonder if I can add her to the family. I don't think I tried to do that last time. Oh my gosh, who started a freaking fire? <gasps> So you save the poor quality cake and run away from the fire. Oh my gosh. Yes, the seance was interrupted. Of course. Of course. Don't be stressed about the fire. You're fine. I need you to summon Bonehilda. <sighs> what terrible timing. The fire has been put out. Just try to be a little careful next time. Of course, of course. Okay. You don't have to freak out about the fire anymore. It's done. I need you to summon Bonhilda. That is our main focus at the moment. Queen. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Summon our bony queen. Summon her. Summon her. Just keep being friendly. She looks so cool. Doesn't she? Such a vibe. There's also something that you can do <gasps> hello sweet queen there's something that you can do on the table once you reach a certain level it's called a ghastly ghostly ghastly a ghastly ceremony something like that but it turns your sim into a ghost for i think it's like four hours temporarily i don't really know how, how long but it turns your sim into a ghost temporarily but you turn back after a while so that that's kind of cool that would be a way to like, if you wanted to have a ghost baby, you could turn yourself into a ghost on the seance table and then try to try for baby with another ghost or go into cast and try to have a baby like that. Yeah, I don't know. The possibilities seem endless, but let's uh, let's introduce ourselves to Miss Hildy here. Hey, Hildy. How you doing, girl? Let's take a picture with her. Get that, uh... Wait, why can't we? Oh my gosh, how annoying. <gasps> oh, you're not... Okay, I thought she was yelling at her. I was like, no, 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 no. You need to not do that. Bold pickup line. She's feeling fearless. Let's freaking go, Brenna. First kiss already, you guys. Brenna is an unstoppable romantic force. Mom, I'm hungry. Can you cook me something? Sorry, I'm busy flirting with this skeleton. Buzz off, Merlin. <gasps> cute beans! Very cute beans! A steamy exchange. Ah, here, here's the, uh, the paranormal pack mission. 
In a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house, possibly by the hands of some male malevolent mastermind controlling your every action. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason I'm here. Why am I here again? Anywho, let's just sweet talk her. You can't leave yet. I'm sorry. Do not go. Flirt. Just get that up. Breno was literally like, hey, Jenny, can you summon me Bone Hilda so I can uh, have babies with her? Let's invite, invite Hildy to stay the night. Let's kiss her. A sleepover sounds great. I'm glad you think so. <gasps> we can woohoo. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I think I'll probably have to cheat the pregnancy, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's leave them to it. Oh my gosh, yes, we have a uh, really angry ghosty poop over here. Just watch. Look at how angry they get. Very angry, but still very cute. Okay, I also want to show you guys the the shower woohoo and see so you can see what Bonehilda looks like in her true form. Oh my gosh, the flickering lights are such a mood. I love it. Truly is a haunted house. How come we can't woohoo in the shower? I feel robbed. Casper sucks at being a medium. All of his ceremonies get interrupted. I wonder, should we just add Hildy to the family? You know what? We might as well. We need her. We need her around to clean. She is a maid after all, so... Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. The house is a mess. We need you. Why don't you just come and join our family, eh? Hildy. Oh, Hildy. She's creative, family-oriented, and neat. She is almost an elder. Apparently, she can die from old age. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, she has a big happy family aspiration. What a good bean. Oh, she's off uh, to take care of our garden as well. Love to see it. Yeah, Lydia. Medium level four. I am so proud. This is taking a lot less time than it did when I played it on Twitch, but... Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. What's going on in here? You guys vibing? Ooh, who, who's this? Darian. Ah, that was that urn that we found that was like down the street over here. Huh. He made his way to our house. So with these little babies, you can uh, you can give them offerings, like the gnomes pretty much. And there has to be like a handcrafted thing like uh painting or some knitted things if they like it then they'll leave you um the wraith wax which is what you make the candles out of that have the black flames i don't think we have anything that we've crafted in our inventory but yeah that's that's pretty much the deal with those guys oh he's feeling happy all right let's put that to use then eh Perform a ceremony. Oh shoot, he's feeling terrified though. From lights going out, goosebumps from getting spooked. You're okay, sir. There you go, now you're happy. Yeah, it'll make him a little less scared if he successfully performs the ceremony too, so. Okay, Brenna, hello. Hello, queen. I don't think they can try for babies, so let me see if I can pregnancy start through MC Command Center with Bonehilda. Shoot. Shoot, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Um, is it because she's sleeping, perhaps? Let me, uh, let me try waking her up. Yay, ceremony successful! Okay, hang on, let me, uh, let me get him to do something else now. Let's do a group seance. Commune with the dead with Lydia. Alright, now that she's awake. Shoot! Okay, there's something else that I can try. Modifying cast, I can set her to be able to... Mm, get Sims pregnant and we can try that way. Hey, Hildy. Okay. <laughs> uh, get others pregnant. Bam. Bam. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Bone. Hilda. It should work properly this way. I don't think that she has any special traits like the Island Elementals or the Grim Reaper do. I'm not sure. We experimenting today! Okay, let's see if we can try for baby with her. Try... Oh yes, we can! Try for baby with Brenna. Beautiful. Love to see it. 
I have no idea how to dress these babies. I don't know if I should dress them like... I don't know, like, holy crap, I didn't even think about it. Crap, this is gonna be difficult. Yay, Casper is now floating! Good boy, I am so proud. All right, did you guys do it? Okay, Brenna, time to get up. Time to take a pregnancy test. See if you're pregnant with these bone babies. <laughs> skeleton babies. I don't know, maybe there's some cool skeleton CC out there. <gasps> it worked, you guys! It worked! I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, hang on. Stop right there. She is pregnant with one male baby. I don't think I'm gonna put her in labor yet because I don't know what I want to do for like their makeovers. We can save that for the next episode because uh, yeah, I think there's gonna be a next episode. There'll be, it'll probably be that one and then the wedding after that, if things go as planned. Oh my gosh, she is absolutely just wrecked from all those seances, her too. I don't understand why Sims will nap if they're that tired. Like if they're like in the dark red, they should just sleep. I enjoy my time with you, Bone. Holy cannoli, she calls her Bone. Ain't that cute. <laughs> She's just so cute, isn't she? I don't know, she just looks like a really kind face. So what skill have you been working on, Winston? What have you taken a liking to? Piano! Okay, that's quite cute. So Winston likes piano, and Leia likes mischief. Freaking love to see it. And it makes sense because she wants to be a joke star. Very nice, very, very nice. I am so stoked that we were able to like, have, or have Brenna get pregnant without any freaking issues because there's always issues but yeah and i like how this ghosty is just like hanging out in the ghost room look how cute i mean come on i kind of want a tattoo of one of these just because like it's a sims thing and it's just really cute it's like sims and it's spooky and i love spooky things and i love the sims and i love cute things and yeah <laughs> Those are a bunch of reasons that I want it, want it tattooed. Bone Hilda, darling, you don't have to sleep out there. I can assign this, the right side of the bed to you. I can't. I can't assign a bed to you. Aww, that's so sad. Wow, she really likes Brenna. Yeah, you stank. Take a bath. Crap, they're missing school. Honestly, I don't care. I don't really want them to go to school, if I'm being honest. All right, let's get you up. Let's get you to use the potty, take a shower, even though you're a ghost, I literally don't know why I have to do this. It doesn't make sense to me, but it is what it is. I didn't make the game. <laughs> don't go in there, your sister's showering. Okay, he went in. Really? She was showering and you kicked her out so you go potty. Oh my gosh, very rude. Okay, so let's have a look at their skills. She's almost done. She's almost got it. If you guys don't know, um... The medium skill is only five. It's not ten. Oh my gosh, Hildy! Holy cannoli! Look at her friggin' rocking up with, uh, what is that? Chimmy. I don't know what those are, but they look just... Wow, and she made skewers. <gasps> what a good bean. I love her. But yeah. Yeah, invite over Samoa. Of course, of course. The medium skill is only five and not 10, so they should be maxing it pretty, pretty soon. Why is, I don't understand why this gravestone is so massive. Did I size it up? <laughs> I must have. I'm getting really tired of all these uh, cakes. Foodies Unite must be, must be enacted, eh? Let me have a look. Yeah, it is. Okay, just gonna get rid of that because I feel like all these cakes is just a big waste. All these cakes is just a big waste. Miss you a lot, sis. Can you stop by for a little bit? Merlin, we've literally never met you. I keep thinking Casper's tired, but it's just like the black makeup that I put on him. Oh, she can do the ghastly ritual. Oh my gosh, ghosts can't do it. That's so funny. Of course they can't, because they're already ghosts. So I'm thinking I'm going to call this episode right here because I want to get your guys' opinion for the next one. You stank. Go take a shower, love. Yeah, exactly. You're killing that outfit though. You look great. Just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to get your guys' opinion about how we should CC up Bone Hilda and Brenna's kids. I also wanted to get your guys' opinion about 
you know what? I think that's pretty much it. So in the next episode, we're gonna give uh, Bonhilda. Wow, actually, shoot. If this is going to be the last episode before the wedding, I think I would want Bonhilda's kids to be teens by the wedding. So in the next episode, we will do the Bonhilda baby's infant makeover or toddler makeover, I mean. And then we will uh, work on mastering the medium skill for Casper and uh, Lydia. What else is left? I think that's it. Holy cannoli. Oh, Brenna had a nightmare about being stuck in a ladderless pool, unable to get out. <laughs> kind of absurd, really. Why couldn't Brenna just lift themselves out of the pool? I don't know. Why do these children not freaking take baths? I don't understand. They're always also stinky. But yeah, don't forget to tell me in the comments how you feel about the paranormal pack if you've gotten it or if you want the paranormal pack, if it looks interesting to you. I'm very, very curious. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I have missed filming videos for you guys so much, so it felt really good to film today. I was definitely in high spirits. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think, and I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be... I'm so like turned around with all my series right now. The next one will be Legacy and then the one after that will be Not So Berry and then we will make our way back around. So yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!